friend of mine went to Colorado. And okay, okay. And came back with a piece of with a, a bottle of candy. Gummy. Gummy candies. And uh, you and I discussed it Friday off the air. Right. I asked you if you're going to tell me on the air about your gummy candy experience. Now, you're somebody, this is interesting because you're somebody, you're not a drug doer. No. You're not a pot smoker. I'm not a you know, drinker. And, if, and not a drinker at all. And if you do drink, you have a, a pumpkin beer, which is not mm-hmm. alcohol. I don't even know what that is. I barely consider that anything. Like the times we have been out, you always get like a flavored, you, you drink like a, 13 year old girl who's trying alcohol for the first time because mm-hmm. I don't know what I want and because I've never really drank so I'm not a drinker right uh, so something that has like a lot of umbrellas in it and crazy flavors and barely any alcohol yes please yeah I'll take two I've been looking forward to it all weekend uh, all week right. this is the thing that was getting me through last week I was <laughs> like I am not doing anything Saturday I'm going to do a gummy and I'm going to see how it affects me right and you said, what, what was your uh, response to me? I said, don't eat an entire one. Eat a piece of a gummy first to see how you react. Because if you have an entire gummy, then that could really freak you out. If you've never done this before and you don't know anything about it and it's, your body's not used to it, just, take a, just, take like, like, just eat the head. Don't, don't eat the entire gummy bear. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought, I thought of that and said, Cooper doesn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Cooper has no, and this isn't like the, uh, THC or pot, whatever from down the street. This is Colorado people. The, these are the right. people that understand gummies. Right. So mm-hmm. around five o'clock Saturday, I'm like doing a whole gummy. Oh no. So I got news radio on the TV. I can mm-hmm. watch anything I want. I'm telling you, I should have did a quarter. I told you. You did the entire gummy. What's I did wrong the with whole you? Whole entire gummy. Okay, so what was the first reaction when you first took it? How long did it take for you to feel the effects? Probably about an hour. And oh, okay. and I think it was, oh my God, I haven't moved my legs in like 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 I mean it, it, and I had this st- huge headache that I've had all day long, but the gummies didn't help the headache. It didn't take the headache away. It made me to where I didn't care about the headache anymore. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Every now and then I would go, Oh, I got, I got a head. I don't care. Uh, (laughs) and then crackle or one of those channels has beef and butthead. Oh no. (laughs) I just watched that on a loop and it was just like I drank 12 beers. Oh God. That's how I, that's how I felt. I wasn't sick. If you told me I had to drive somewhere, I probably could have, I wouldn't have enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I would have done it really slow, Mm -hmm. but it's, it was a totally different feeling than drinking. Like you were too high. I was very, I, I wanted to eat stuff. I remember that. Okay. I, I, I was just sitting there going, peanut butter on bread would be amazing right now. And I'd go downstairs. <laughs> you eat every day anyway. <laughs> and Why I'd is go that any different? And I put peanut butter on bread and I remember eating it going, it's not really that good. But in my head, it was good. And you always, and your mouth is really dry. Um, but if it was a quarter of, one, I probably would have enjoyed it more. Right. I think you, because remember, see, I was trying to explain this to you when you smoke and it goes into your lungs, that's different than when you eat one and it goes into your bloodstream because mm-hmm. it goes right into your bloodstream, like food, it's food, but the THC is a little more intense. And if you've never done it before, yeah, eating an entire gummy was a bad idea. Yeah. I mean, I think you should try it again. I think you should take a little tiny nibble, just take a little nibble and see how you enjoy it because the idea, you know, the whole thing that's going on right now with all that stuff is microdosing. Mm-hmm. You know, people are doing it like people that are depressed um, are microdosing uh, magic mushrooms, you know, like prescribed by doctors. So there's a lot of people that are doing the microdosing just to manage their anxiety, to manage their depression, to manage whatever's going on with them physically. So microdosing is really the thing. And microdosing means just having a little tiny bit. 
And that's enough. Yeah. And I can see where drug companies wouldn't want this to go on the market. I can understand that right, because yeah. you take one of these, you ain't taking Prozac. You don't no, that's ca- the whole point. Cause yeah, you don't care. Whole, yeah. No, that's the whole point for people that have like mild anxiety and mild depression. A little microdosing is not a bad thing. And if it's because you're craving gummy, go get yourself a bag of gummies. Go get yourself some Sour Patch Kids and just eat those. Like take a little bite of the THC gummy, put that away Mm -hmm. and then munch on regular gummies. If you're if it's the gummy you're craving. No, 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 no. That would be very bad to have a bag of gummies. You know, my problem is now what happens when they're all gone? Can't get no more. how, how, How did you sleep? I still needed a sleeping pill. Huh? I mean, because it was like two o'clock in the morning and I'm still watching Beavis and Butthead. I see. And I could have stayed all night long watching just random stupid TV. Right. Right. You know, and it's not like I couldn't go to sleep. It was, there's more fun things to do <laughs> than, than sleep. But it depends on which one she gets you because they're all different. You know, mm. some of them are the sleepy by ones that will help you sleep. Others are for pain. Some are for anxiety. So, they're, they're, I mean, they're that specific now. It's not just THC. They specifically design them for whatever, you know, whatever ails you, I guess, is the best way to put it. So are you going to do it again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Four day weekend coming up. <laughs> of course. Right. Hey. See ya. I'm not doing another. I, I'm not doing a full one. I doubt I'll, I'll even do a half. Um. It's just, I, I don't know if I can go through that. Micro again. dosing. That is your friend. Yeah. So, but it, it was a lot different than, cause I smoked a couple of joints when I was a kid, when I was mm. younger and it just made me paranoid. I remember I was really paranoid and I hated it. I hated everything about it, but this, I didn't get paranoid. No, this won't do that. that that's the whole idea that it it's, it's specially formulated. It's not the kind of thing you get on the, on the street corner. 